Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Xbox Game Pass remote install is not working in Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions, just make sure of the following. First of all, the PC should be awake and connected to the internet. The very thing to check if you're unable to remote install games via the Xbox Game Pass is that the linked Windows 11 computer is not turned off or in sleep mode. So it's always recommended to keep the system turned on to install the games right away and eliminate the chances of encountering an error. Also, make sure to verify that you're logged in with the same account. This is another common issue reported by many users and that means they have different accounts linked to the mobile and computer app. Therefore, before you proceed to the intricate methods, just verify that you're signed in with the same Microsoft account on both devices. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the Xbox app. To do this, press the Windows button and simply type Store and then select Microsoft Store from the search results. In the Store app, just look at the Library option in the lower left corner and just click it and afterwards go on the right side of the screen and click on the blue Get Updates button. The Store app will now scan for any updates and install them automatically if possible. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also clear the Microsoft Store cache. To do this, press the Windows plus R combo to open a run window and then simply type the following command. Now press OK or hit Enter and then wait for the reset process to complete. And then simply restart your PC. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to re-register the Xbox app. To do this right click the Windows button and simply select Windows Terminal as an administrator. In here copy paste the following commands from the description below but press Enter after each command. Now just restart your computer and then you can just check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the Microsoft Store apps troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and click on it. Now select other troubleshooters and afterwards scroll way down until you find the Windows Store apps and click on the run button next to it. Now Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. And lastly, another great solution is to use the advanced options for the Xbox app. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now you can click on the search apps box under the app list and simply type Xbox. Now scroll down until you find the Xbox app and click on the three dots next to it and select the advanced options. In here scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by pressing on the repair button. In this case the apps data won't be affected at all. But if this solution doesn't work you can also proceed to reset the app. So click on the reset button but in this case the apps data will be deleted so it will be restored to the default settings. Otherwise, if this step doesn't work at all, you can also try the uninstall section. Just press on the uninstall button to uninstall the Xbox app, then restart your PC and just reinstall the app back again. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.